massive announcement, breaking news. WWE's YouTube has 20 million subscribers. Oh my God! Whoa! Oh my, well done WWE, no, well done, I mean who fucking cares, who cares if WWE YouTube has 20 million subscribers, who cares if the Bella Twins have 1 million subscribers, who cares, why do they feel the need to pat themselves on the back they shouldn't be going, oh my god, we've got 20 million subscribers. It's the other media outlets who are meant to say, WWE has got 20 million subscribers. You don't go tooting your own fucking on. It's not on. It's just stupid. At the beginning of Raw, they switched the Samoa Joe v Seth Rollins match with Seth Rollins against Jason Jordan. Clearly, the fans were pissed. Because I'm pretty sure I heard more than one This Is Boring chant. And the match was great. The match was actually really good. But I just don't think they wanted to see Jason Jordan there. I just think they wanted to see Samoa Joe with Seth Rollins. Not Jason Jordan. And funnily enough. Funnily enough, Michael Cole didn't bring our attention to that chant like he does with the This Is Awesome chants and the You Deserve It chants who Ziggler got a You Deserve It chant Everyone, everyone gets a You Deserve It chant You Deserve It! You Deserve It! You Deserve It! Naomi, Ziggler, Owens the caretaker, to whoever you walk down there with a Jasper Conrad belt in your hand and you get it, you deserve a chant. Oh, it's true. It's damn true. So Dolph Ziggler's music is gone again. He brought it back and now it's gone. And he's gone. Or has he gone? But I thought Natalia had gone. Has Natalia gone? Has Dolph gone? I don't know. So have they gone? <coughs> so let me get this straight. At the end of Raw, all the women are in this mass brawl, weeks of pent up aggression between the women of Raw and Absolution, who've been attacking these women on a weekly basis since their debut. Then suddenly, Stephanie McMahon's music hits, and they all stop dead, and is floating, floating down to the ring to make this, this big announcement. And when she's made the announcement, this, this major announcement, that the WWE, that the women have in their own Royal Rumble this year, that they all stand there, happy, clapping, cheering, smiles, holding fucking hands together. It's the most stupid fucking thing. It, oh, storyline, 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 storyline. What about the storyline? Suddenly, the Lord Saviour, Stephanie, comes down to the ring, makes this announcement, and it's like, it's, it's, all vendettas and revenge and all weeks of beatdowns have gone out the window for this this announcement it's like yeah it's great well done which by the way wwe uh, tooted in this big horn saying it's a revolution it's it's this it's that the only people who stopped the wwe women from having a royal rumble a money in the bank match a Hell in a Cell match, main event in Raw, main event in a pay-per-view before, is WWE themselves. They could have had these matches years ago. 
It's stuff like this that downright pisses me off. It makes no sense. Within three minutes, the WWE fans went from being invested in this mass brawl that was taking place in the middle of the ring and outside the ring between all these women to have, having to watch them hold hands, smiling, cheering as Princess Stephanie makes this big fucking announcement. It's just ridiculous. It makes no fucking sense. Enzo looks like he put a pork in a blender. Yes, WWE had to get a Star Wars Last Jedi reference in. They've got to jump on that bandwagon. Anything trending, anything in the limelight like that, they are on it. Listen, watch every week. You will see at least one thing related to something that's been trending or in the news or in social media or entertainment every damn week. Now is it me or was that triple threat announcement a little underwhelming? Whenever Lesnar comes out, he literally does nothing. Stands there, Paul Heyman talks for him. This time, he was close line Braun and then F5 Kane. And then Kurt Angle goes, All right, all right, there's triple threat! And runs out. It's like... What? Does anybody actually want to see Kane face Brock Lesnar? in 2018. Is that a big match that people want to see? I don't think so. Oh my god! Is there anything more annoying than two announcers arguing through an entire match? Saxton and Graves, I don't know, Saxton has just become this annoying thing who is just shitting all over the thing literally shitting all over it. Just, oh, he just moans and whinges and argues and graves and Byron just argue. And they, oh, I don't want to listen to two people fucking argue through a match and Byron making stupid little comments and then graves just arguing back. Byron Saxton sounded like some whiny little fucking kid who just couldn't get his voice heard. So he kept going on and 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 on about it. We get it! You think Daniel Bryan is working with Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. We get it. You only have to say it. Make your point once or twice. Not drum it over and over and kill the fucking show. Oh, give it a rest! What a maneuver!